I don't know. Um. <laughs> Hi. It wouldn't be alive with Jessica if it wasn't a weird start. <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, for some reason, there was like music in my background when I first started, and I'm pretty sure it was also playing on the live, but it was on my phone, and I couldn't get it to stop. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> Anyways, hi. So I did have y'all set up just lovely, but then that happened. So here we go again. It's going to set this up. You could hear it, Donna. Hi. That was the weirdest thing. I've never had that happen before because it was just playing in my background and I don't know. But I didn't, I think it was like a YouTube video or a short or something like that. I don't know. Hi guys. Happy new year. <laughs> so, um, I thought it would be fun to do something kind of basic today. Um, I have played around a little bit with this new light that I have and tripod. So I feel a little bit better about it. I also figured out how to put, or I didn't figure out, but I put like a filter on it. So it's not blinding me. So there's that, but hopefully it's going to work good when I flip you around. Cause we're going to um, turn around and we'll work on my table in a minute, but I just wanted to get started here. I'm going to um, I'm going to be taking some book pages out of a few different books and I think we'll do a few different types of books. So if you have lots of book pages that you want to reuse and recycle, then you can see what all of these ideas will look like with different types of book pages, if that makes sense. And these are going to be really simple things that we're doing. They're things I've done on my channel a lot, but I think that I'm since I'm always having like new subscribers and I'm having people that are like intimidated to start journaling and things like that. It's always fun to go back to something very simple. And it's also nice to be able to reuse um, book pages and just like things that we are always using. So I am going to grab something real quick here because I wanted to actually post that I'm going live. So, um, y'all, you guys are just going to get started with me here. Let's see. But anyways, um, are you guys having a good new year's? I kind of forgot today was new year's because normally I do something with my family, but my mom is really sick and, um, yes, yeah, so we're not really doing much, but okay. Let me, just try to get started here. Um, I'm gonna have to grab something. So if you guys can hang tight for a sec, if anyone comes in and is like, where is she? Just let them know, I'll be right back. Hi, Judy to you. Hi, Judy from Indiana. Welcome. I'll be right back guys. We'll get started. back and better than ever. Um, so I'm going to grab my laptop here actually just quickly. Hi guys. Um, so if you guys want to give this video a thumbs up, that would be lovely. Um, and also pretty soon I want to do some kind of a Q and A. So, um, be on the lookout. We'll do a post for that where you can put a bunch of questions or whatever. But, um, okay, one sec. We're gonna get started, but I think I had to restart. Oh my gosh. This live. And so I don't know if the link is the same as what I posted if that makes sense. So I wanted to make sure that I posted the right link. Okay. We're going to 
gonna go over here. <laughs> It. I didn't mean to click out of there. Sorry. <laughs> um, what was I doing again here? YouTube. Need to get the link. Um, my daughter spilled chocolate milk on my laptop, so I'm realizing that the keys are sticking. So that's just lovely. But hello, hi Judy, hi Lindsay. Um, what sewing machine is behind you, and do you recommend it? Yes, um, let me finish reading your comment. Oh, geez. What did you say? Um, trying to find an AHD computerized machine that's not too complicated for a beginner. So I have, here, I feel like I need to bring you guys down a bit more. I have the Project Runway Brother sewing machine. And I absolutely adore it. Sorry just try to be like that there now you can see it um yeah I love it I have a video on it I have quite a few videos on it actually um like showing how to use it and everything like that but I've had this ever since I really have had this YouTube channel probably close to at least and it's just um the best thing ever it's very easy and it is perfect for a beginner so I was a beginner with sewing and um I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to sew without like learning or going to classes or something like this but this literally all you have to do is buy it plug it in and it's just easy to go like I yeah anyways okay so here we go I'm almost there let me just copy the link here Um, okay, I'm not usually this behind on getting started, but anyways. Hey, getting closer to 70k subscribers this year, I am hoping and I'm thinking that I'll get it to, we'll, we'll get to 1k, so I'm excited for that. Um, okay. There we go share copy all right not now okay guys sorry i'm almost done here okay done we're gonna be done there okay so i have I know a lot of people have the Edith Holden books and like using them. So I thought that we would do some things with this one. I have just a regular like older vintage one. This is Robin Hood, but just basically it's, I'm going to use the pages that have text. Um, my favorite is any kind of older vintage botanical or floral book. So I grabbed this one. Happy New Year to you also, hello. And then music pages, which I think that's one of my favorites. But um, I think I'm gonna just go, go ahead and flip you guys around now so we can just get started and we're just gonna make some simple things together. So I'll put those up there. And we are now going to flip around here. doing it we're gonna come over here now hi how are you thank you well it's not the best setup yet because I haven't quite figured it all out but thanks um let me see here now actually what I need to do is flip you all around oh no why would my dog be barking at a time like this Okay. 
We're getting there. Okay. And hello, guys. Sorry. If you're just hopping on, we're getting kind of a slow start, and my dog is just going nuts, but... Yeah, this is... I'm not sure how people do lives and have them so organized, <laughs> but we're here. We're doing it, doing it and doing it well, doing it and doing it well. Okay. Um, let me see how good this is. I feel like we need to go up more. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Okay. Oh, well now I can't see, but we're getting there. This is so funny to me. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's better. I just can't see everyone. Okay. I'm gonna go like this. Okay guys, I mean, I don't know, because now the sun's shining, this is a rough, I don't know why I can't ever get the lighting just right. Okay, so let's just get started. I am going to grab scissors and glue. Uh, we're going to keep it simple. Scissors, glue. And we're going to grab a page from, we're gonna, we'll start with the music paper. And I, I like to keep this pretty simple. So I also like using rulers for um, like cutting because I like the raw edges, but just remember like any of these ideas, you can take it and make it your own. There, now I can actually see. much better for me. Give us some more space. There goes that. Okay, so I'm gonna trim the edges on this just a little bit. Hi guys, how are you? And um, pretty soon I would like to do like another mass making book page, um, book pages. I don't know if you guys, uh, that was one of like the more popular video series on my channel and I am super looking forward to that. So, um, so, okay. One of my favorite ways, and it's just so simple is making envelopes out of book pages. Um, so, I mean, there's many different ways you can do that, but I like to do it so simple by just folding it up, folding it over. Hi, Judy. Oh, I think I said hi, Judy, a hundred times. I thought it was different, Judy. Judy. Um, oh, you're asking if I have an iPad. You can log into your live and see what others say. Oh. No, I have my laptop, though. And I was actually trying to do it from there, but you just do three simple folds. But what I like to do is the decorating part. We'll do some, we'll do some more intense book page too. So I'm going to use glue, but actually if I were doing this in real life, I would um, be using my sewing machine. And then, you know, we're just going to glue up the sides. And yeah, it was okay. Is it out of focus? Let's see. I think the lighting's just so bright. I have okay, so I have some different little ephemera pieces and whatnot, but I think it would be more fun to use more book pages. 
instead. So I'm going to grab another book. And we are going to find some little flowers here to cut out as like an embellishment kind of thing. Um, I really like this book. It's cute. I'll show you what it's called in just a sec here. I'm just going to grab one out. Um, this is Eastern North America's Wildflowers. Okay, so... And I like how they're, they're just kind of like animated, I guess. I'm gonna cut out this little orange flower here. Well, so we'll also make some like full book page pockets and things like that, but they're all gonna be basic. Um, if you're new to my channel, I like to keep things very uh, simple. Um, you know, people say that they like my style and they like, they're like intimidated to try things out, but honestly, like, I don't understand it because <laughs> I'm just so simple. I just go with the flow. I'm not a perfectionist, but I feel like anyone can do the things that I can do, which is why I make these videos. Okay. So we've got some flowers and I was thinking that we can do a little situation here um, but I feel like I also want to add some other things here so I'm also going to just take a regular book page and take a little strip here also one thing I notice with book pages, if you use ink of any kind, but let me grab some. Um, I feel like it really makes it all, I don't know, just it doesn't look exactly like a book page, if that makes sense. Cool, I just cut out a flower, I painted, thank you. Good, good. So I'm gonna take some of this book page we're going to add ink around the edges and I just kind of tore it. That's why they call this junk journaling. Actually, I don't know. It's so funny. Actually, if I tell people that I make junk journals, you know, they're just like, oh, so you make journals out of junk. I'm like, well, I guess that's how junk journaling probably started, right? Using junk and reusing things and whatnot, but it's definitely... Uh, it definitely has turned into something different than that. And so some people get really caught up on the name and they're like, why are you calling it junk journaling if there's no junk and all this stuff? It's not a true junk journal, but like, it's just a name. It's just a title. It doesn't have to be that serious. Um, I'm going to take ink now and just go around the edges here of the flower. You know, when I'm doing simple crafting like this, sometimes it takes me a bit to kind of get into a groove and find my style for the day. My style changes all the time. Um, I feel like you just got to kind of play around and f figure it out because I don't like this. I don't like this at all, but like I'm going to not give up. I'm just going to keep going with it because I'm going to figure something out. And I feel like that's something that we all have to do when we're crafting if you watch someone on YouTube and you like their style and you want to like copy it, that's fine. But you're going to notice that like, sometimes it just doesn't feel right. I kind of think that's how it is for me. Like, I don't like this, but this is an idea. This is an idea to get us started. So let's go ahead and try again. And now I think I'm going to take a page of an actual book page from here. And I think I'll find one that's somewhat simple. Actually, I like this one. I'm gonna take this one right here. And we're gonna make a full page pocket out of that. And you do wanna keep in mind when you're making these things, like what size is your journal so that your stuff fits into, or so that whatever you're making will fit into your journals. Um, like this, 
this is going to be pretty wide. Um, if I had a journal here, I mean, I have plenty of journals around me, but you know what I mean? Um, let me grab one real quick. Uh, here we go. This is one that I've been working in. So we'll just kind of use this as an example. What is the best glue to use? Hang on, I'll tell you, I'll talk about that in a sec. So like if I was making this for a journal, obviously it's gonna to be too wide, but you can always put it this way too. And then you might want to adjust what way you have your like decorations, embellishments and whatnot. Uh, well, if you've been with me for a while, then you know that this is the only glue I use, which is not focusing probably, but it's Tombow Mono Aqua. Is, my, is this not focusing? It's the only glue I like because, oh, I can add an Amazon link, but I don't know if I can right now with my phone on the tripod, but okay. So we're going to use this journal for size reference. So like if I'm going to make a page pocket, a page, yeah, then I would probably trim this down just a little bit on all the sides. And then I like the edges to be raw anyways. So I'm just going to trim down all of the sides. And I feel like when I'm working with book pages, I also use a lot of scraps, like fabric scraps and things like that. Oh, I have another idea for something we'll do too. But um, okay, so for this, I'm going to grab some lace, just like again scrappy kind of things start with that maybe some fabric oh and i have gold thread now thanks to madeline if she's still in here cheesecloth where did the gold thread go it's right here and by the way, if you're looking for gold thread, she told me that she got this whole thing for like, oh, hi, you're in here. I can't see the comments too good, guys, so. So I think you said it was $4 from Shein. Is that how you say it? S-H-E-I-N. Um, I need to do a haul from there or like a, yeah, not a haul. Yeah, I wanted to shop there and get some craft stuff and then do a video on that. That would be fun. But I'm going to open this up and we'll just do a little bit of layering just to make it not exactly look like just a normal book page. And so I'm just going to take this lace that I already had, cut it down a little. I'm going to put it across here because that's where it looks good to me. Maybe some cheesecloth just for some texture. Like that. Um, a little bit of this fabric, which I'm going to cut. Maybe a little bit of cold thread. I mean, this is a lot more layers than I normally do, but. Anyways, uh, I went out last night for New Year's Eve and I haven't gone out in so many years and it was pretty fun. It was fun actually, but um, let's see. I'm gonna find a label. Yeah, there we go. And if you don't see the link, let me see. I didn't add a link yet. Oh, you you guys are saying, oh, does that link work for it? Oh, do I already have link? So I didn't add any new links right now, but if you're looking in my description and if those aren't working, then that's good to know. Those are all old links, so I haven't updated them. So maybe that's why. Thanks. Thank you guys for looking, but sorry. I. Okay. So that's why it would be good to have an iPad, I suppose. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate you helping me with that. Okay. So I'm just going to layer all these up. And I would use my sewing machine possibly, but since... I don't want to head over there. I'm just going to use my staple. I'm a staple. Oh, you wouldn't. You would be out of staples, wouldn't you? 
Okay, I'm gonna sew it off camera then. And then, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and add glue to the back of this. Oh my goodness, let's see here. Well guys, do you guys have any suggestions for glue? Like what kind of glue do you like? I guess I've just always stuck to this because it works for me and I like it. I have tried some other glues, but then I just always get annoyed with them because either they don't work well or they don't work how I expect them to. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna ink the edges of this whole thing here. Ooh, I have an idea too um, for something else. Just doing it messily here. Messily, is that a word? I like using clear pockets too, so I'm gonna grab one. I mean, this is adding a lot of things, but we're just having fun here. So I have these little clear pockets, they're adhesive. And it has like a little side pocket. I'm gonna put this down here. And then let's go ahead and make a little tag to go in here and then we'll put this on the page as well. And for the tag, I am just going to use a, a regular book page. Grab one. And I'm just gonna trim this down. Jessica has to make me an admin so I can share. Oh, oh, can I do that right now? Let me see. Um, put user in timeout, add moderator. I think I added you as a moderator. So yeah, I mean, if you don't mind, that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna make a little tag here to go in our pocket. Yes, three, okay, I think I, think I did. Thank you. I'm gonna fold this in half because this book page is pretty thin. So Judy, you're saying Tombow's my favorite glue, even permanent glue sticks don't work for me. Yeah, I don't like glue sticks either. I mean, I, I have them and I use them once in a while, but I don't trust them as a glue, you know what I mean? So anyways, I'm folding this in half, I glued it together. The other thing I like about this glue is it does dry hard, so it, like, it, makes, it makes your paper more, well, I don't know hard. <laughs> I don't know what other word to say. Okay. Um, then we're going to go like this, cut some edges, cut it into a tag shape, add some ink. And we'll add some pretty little things to it. I'm opening up my little ephemera box next to me, which you can't see. We'll just grab kind of the first thing I found, which was that. I'm gonna add a little bit of lace to this. I'm gonna add this little tag right there. So I'll just glue it down. And I will add this little butterfly kind of to the top so that you could still use the label. Cause I would use this label like as a date, as a place to put a date or something like that. 
I feel like when you're working with book pages, the thing that really makes it go from just looking like a book page to something else is, you know, adding, like decorating it. So now I need to, I want to add like a little, um, little topper or actually I'm going to get, I'm going to use some ribbon here. And then a little hole punch would be good. I, I actually need to reorganize like my whole craft room and I, would like to film that because a lot of people want to see in organ like organizing videos, but it's so hard to film something like that, in my opinion. So, okay. Anyways, I'm going to just put a little hole right here. And then we'll take our twine or ribbon, whatever you want to use. Just go like that. Put it through. And then pull these ends through here. There, got a cute little simple tag. Judy, um, I really like how you wor your work looks neat, but not overthought, if you know what I mean. Well, thank you. <laughs> I never feel like it's neat, but you know, I appreciate it. I do like, I mean, yeah, I really enjoy just going with the flow because to me also, it's not always about like the end result. It's about the whole process of journaling and crafting. It's like what I get out of it is really more important to me, but I always try to keep in mind too when I'm sharing with other people, like what, I don't know. I'm gonna take a little stamp here and I was thinking of adding something else. No, we're good. Okay, so now let me take my journal. This is just a random journal that I do little layouts in. And I think we'll just find a page to put this. And I'm getting started on next month's um, Patreon stuff too. Hey, there's a lot of you guys in here. Okay, so for this book page, it's gonna just be a full book page and I mean I could have it be on the side or on the top I think I'm gonna have the opening be on the top and a lot of times I like to make a pocket out of this page rather than gluing around the edge if that makes sense so you can just add glue like this around <laughs> and then place it down and then you have a pocket but sometimes I find that a little tricky to get things in and out of the pocket. So I'm just gonna take a piece of printer paper, or you could do another book page, but sometimes I don't want to exactly waste another book page, you know? So I'm just gonna add glue, like I just kind of mentioned, around the outer edges. I might actually take this to the sewing machine. I know it's off camera, but it'll be real quick. And I'm just gonna kind of line this up with the edge here so that we can cut this down. Okay, I know you can't exactly, oh no, is the lighting really, it's so bright. Um, well, let me know if, if the lighting's, it's changing because the sun keeps changing. So if it's really bad, just let me know and I can try to move us around. I'm gonna take this to the sewing machine really quick and I'm just gonna sew around. I think I need to move around the edges. So let me do that and then you guys let me know. And I'm gonna do a zigzag stitch. Perfect timing, because 
That just came flying off. <laughs> okay, guys. So, if you can even see on camera, I like the detail. Then we can just go ahead and glue this completely down in the book or, or your journal. But also, I'm just going to glue, actually, I'm going to glue on the top because you'll see, we'll, we'll make it a side pocket on the bottom and this side, if that makes sense. And then we'll have a side opening. So much room for activities, because <laughs> then we have the top of the pocket. Let me see if I can find a few things here. So you could put something like this. My phone just told me it's dying. And then also on the side, and I just have this little uh, folder situation here. That might be a little big, but you get it. No, I think it's fine. Okay, there we go. So that's cute. Just a simple little, and then we have a little, po a little book page uh, tag right here too. Okay, so see what I'm saying? Like, I don't like this. We started there, didn't like it. This is more what I'm going for. So sometimes you just got to kind of get going. Um, I was thinking of another one that I like to do a lot too. So let me see if I can find any Edith Holden pages. That's cute. Yeah, let's do this. Um, I use, let's see, I'm reading Susan. I'm not reading all the comments quite yet because I'm just like, okay. Question, does the sewing machine ever have issues with glue on the needle? I don't have, it. I never have issues with that. Um, and I would say that I use glue on my book pages a lot. I never have issues, but I do clean mine somewhat regularly, but it sounds like a lot of people um, might, so I guess it would just depend. Hi, Kathleen. You're saying that you just found me and subbed the other day. I'm so glad. Well, welcome. Uh, okay. I just wanted to catch up on some of the comments. Next, I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna cut this in half or tear it in half. Cause I like this bottom part here. I think that would be a cute like little pocket. And I'm gonna trim it down again so that it will be like the same width as journal a journal that I like to work in. You know, it's probably like five or six inches. And we're just gonna keep tearing it down. I, I don't measure my stuff. If you're new, then you'll learn that. I just go for it. I'm just gonna try it. it's the same width. All right, cut weird piece off here. And I'm gonna do the same idea where I'm just gonna decorate this up a little bit. Um, I really like using labels. So I'm gonna go over here and grab one. Um, I also have these little stickers that I don't know, I probably got, whoops, from a box or something like that. So we are going to, you keep the, this says Fair Maids of February. So if that's, if you want to keep the writing on there, you can. I probably, this is probably where I'll kind of do my little cluster situation. Going to go like that. Going to use some cheesecloth again. And maybe we can make this into like a flipping, uh, like a flippy kind of pocket. That would be fun. So... We will start by layering these things up. I think this is a sticker or maybe it's a little journaling card. Let's find out. I think, it's, yep, it's a sticker. Oh, there we go. Okay. 
And I think this label is a sticker too. Hi, Danielle, how are you? If you're just hopping on, hello. We're just chilling, having an easy time here. And then I'm just gonna layer this little label on here. And I should have used some ink, I think, on this, but it's not too late yet. I'll just dip in here, go around the edges, kind of. We'll just go all around, <laughs> why not? And I'm also gonna go around the edges of this entire little thing here. And I feel like I wanna add something else to this. So I wanna find another little journaling book. So, or a uh, here we go. Another wildflower book. That's what I'm trying to find. Yes, this is the one. This one's called Wildflowers. I don't know, I think, I'm pretty sure I remember there being some cute little, yeah, smaller flowers. Okay, ooh, I just got a paper cut. That was the most disgusting feeling ever. I like that pink one a lot, so I'm just gonna rip this out so that I can cut it easier. It is quite the mess here, and that's the other thing. I have a really hard time crafting when I'm surrounded by a mess, so it gets a little hard sometimes with filming because I can't really keep stopping to clean. Okay, I'm gonna quickly go around this flower and then I'll just, I'm not gonna take too much time to do it perfect right now, but Ooh, do you guys have, do any of you have a scan and cut? I think that's what it's called. So I have a, uh, it's not a Cricut, what's it called? Um, it's a cutting machine, what the heck's that called? I have a cutting machine, I can't remember the name of it. And I have a, like a scan and cut mat. So you can put book pages like this on the mat and then it scans it and it will trim out everything for you or you can decide like what exactly you want it to cut out. And I really need to set that up because it would be awesome for things like this, for cutting out flowers. Cause it will even, whoops, it will even get like in the centers and whatnot. But, but I know there's that one machine that's specifically for that. And I'm curious if, if anyone thinks it's like worth it. Do you actually use it a lot? Cause sometimes I'm annoyed with machines and I just, I don't want to wait around. So I wonder if I would actually use it a lot. I'm gonna ink around the edges of this one too. Just a little, to make it all tie in together. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we'll put you right here. Just add a little bit more glue. And then I'm glad that you guys are talking amongst yourselves here because I'm just kind of going for it. Okay, then why won't this glue down? Okay, so we have this, we have our little pocket but like I said I want to make it maybe flip so I'm going to use some printer paper again this is probably the last one I'm going to do here today I actually need to do some real filming <laughs> but yeah okay so I'm going to go ahead and trim this down let's see I'm going to make it Okay, so I'm gonna glue this down. So I have my, let's move the, we have a printer paper. I'm going to glue around three of the edges. I might take it to the sewing machine too because it kind of adds a little something, you know? Then I'm gonna fold this in half. Silhouette machine, that's what it's called. Yes, thank you. Thank you. 
Yep, then I'm gonna fold that in half. This is just easy so I don't have to measure. Cut. Trim. I don't wanna cut the top of that flower off so I'm just kinda of going around it. Okay, now if I remember correctly, this is the side that, okay, so I'm gonna take this to the sewing machine real quick. I'm gonna like sew around the edges and then I might sew around the little label too. I'm gonna keep it unfolded though, so I'll just be right back. Oh my gosh, <laughs> my thread came unthreaded. It actually got really jammed, so we're not gonna do that, but that's okay. Well, I was gonna sew around the edges of it, but I'm not going to anyway, it, it's not necessary. So we're gonna take our journal, and I think I'm just gonna use this page, and it sticks out a little bit, but that's okay. And I'm just gonna glue this entire back down, except for the part that comes off the page, of course. Okay. There we go. Then you have like, then it's a little tab also, but so then you have a little side pocket and then this also flips down and we could decorate all of this too. Um, I'm probably not going to decorate it right now, but I will add more book pages just to make it look, you know, prettier. Just like that. Why not? Yeah, we'll just, we'll just glue this down. I usually do like to cover up the white printer paper if, if I remember. And then maybe for this part. Oh, uh, another thing I've been wanting to do with like scraps is do more patchwork um, like tags and like, yeah, using f fabric scraps. So that would be fun. Whoops. You use fabric, fabric tack glue. So I hear people swear by that and I just, I don't know why it just, it, I have used it, I think. Is that the one that's really goopy? <laughs> I think so. Okay, I'm just gonna tear some of this. Okay. We're just covering the white. This really has no, well, actually I could, I have an idea. I'll actually just glue three sides because why not add another pocket? <laughs> like that. And then just grab a little something here. And this will be a pocket. And then we'll have space in here for something too. So there we go. I'll turn this around actually. Um, I think this way. There we go. Okay, guys. Well, that's going to be it for today. I didn't really feel like coming in the craft room today, but I thought it was a good idea. So I'm glad that I did. I'm glad we hung out. That was super fun. And, um, I think that's going to be it. The lighting's, yeah, it's so bright. I'm probably going to get outside. I need to clean off my deck really bad. So that's what I'm going to do. So I hope you guys have a lovely New Year's Day. Hopefully you do something fun and I will see you guys soon. If you just hopped on, so sorry because I'm hopping off, <laughs> but I'll see you soon and have a good day. Okay, bye.